Hello everybody and welcome back to another reaction to That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime, Season 3, Episode 18. Well, we took a week off from Slime last week. I guess they just had the re recap episode or whatever. But we're back for some more. And in the last episode, we finally got to meet the light speed hero. Or the other hero, or one of the other heroes that has reincarnated into the world of um, Slime. Basically, I don't remember what it's actually called. But either way, we got to meet him and we got to see just what makes him so special and unique. And... His unique skill has effectively put his entire life since reincarnating on total easy mode. Just <laughs> everything goes his way no matter what because of like the hero like aura he gives off basically just makes people want to follow him. He just somehow always like runs into the problems that he needs to fix and is just able to fix them on a, just by being there. It's it's a great life to live. I mean, obviously it's kind of, you know, sad and and weird to be reincarnated in the first place, but the skills he got in Sermate has made it like um, pretty good for him and pretty easy life to live. So I'm sure he still has his own complaints because, I mean, he really doesn't know what's going on either. But he just keeps stumbling into like fame and fortune. So I guess he can't complain too much. But now he's on his way to Tempest to um, take part in the festival of some sort. Or at least, you know, people are trying to send him over to like defeat a demon, demon lord. Like be a hero that actually can defeat a demon lord. But I don't think he knows what he's getting into, and hopefully he'll actually be able to communicate and talk to Rimuru for a bit. And we won't have to worry about any big fights breaking out, at least serious ones. Maybe we'll be fighting in the um, tournament or whatever, but either way, he's he's quite the character. He doesn't really know what's happening, it's just everything's going right for him, and I can't wait to see what happens to him when he finally gets to meet the rest of our um, main cast. So I'm looking forward to it, let's get into it. There'll be two versions of this reaction. There'll be the timer-based version if you want to sync up your own video player to that. Or if you want to stay on this video, there'll be a smaller version of my own video player on the other side of the screen for you. Without further ado, let's get into That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime, Season 3, Episode 18. Starting with the old intro. I think that's pretty rare, actually, I think, for this show. Normally, we at least have a little bit of, like, um, pre- pre-episode stuff before we actually get into the intro, but this time the entry went straight into it. Feels like every anime does it differently. Some animes, they'll like almost completely forgo intros. Some of them will always start them right away. Some of them will always have like something before the intro. Like whether it be like just a 30 second small clip or like a few minutes of something happening first. Either way, I wonder if we're going to get more um, of Mr. Hero, Mr. Lightspeed Hero. I guess we do have a couple of other different heroes around. Not too many, though. But yeah, we're about halfway through the um, second half of the season, so I think we should be getting into the festival pretty soon, if not like, you know, right here, maybe even. Can't be much longer. Because they hype up the intro quite a bit, or they hype up the festival quite a bit in the intro, so I'm assuming we're going to get some of it. Well, let's see what happens next. More visitors. Banners are flying. And a lot of people are lined up at the embassy. More audiences with the Demon Lord. King of Blumen. Yeah, I see that. He's got the hair, definitely. <laughs> Seems a little tense there. So modest. <laughs> Mochiron. Aw, oh, dang it. And here I thought I got a Japanese word right for once. 
ヒューズから聞きましたぞ。何でも今回、壮大な計画を立てておられるとか。いや、several actually。By the way, I like the new outfit, Rimuru. The nice white suit. Oh. Outlying all the plans in silence. この話はゼガヒデも万難を排して実現させねばなりませんわね。んさっきの言う通りじゃ。リムル殿、良い話を聞かせてもらえて、悲しかったですぞ。それでは我らはここで失礼させてもらうとしよう。All right, well, テンペスト開国祭の。The plan seems to be going pretty smoothly, considering that, um, response. ぜひとも我が国を楽しんでいってください。Oh boy. <laughs> King of Dorgon. <laughs> he doesn't mind eating during the meeting, that's for sure. <laughs> Do you know how to build a train? That seems kind of complicated. Oh, right. They're making that whole, like, you know, partnership with everyone. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Don't leave me out of the loop. <gasps> Sorry, I just had a hundred year treaty without your approval. It's all good. <laughs> oh my god. I don't blame him though. I would have eaten a lot of those donuts too. だから日向たちはこの際に必要に毒された者たちの粛清を考えてるみたい。親玉が滅んだ以上、日向が実験を完全掌握すると思うよ。であろうな。ならばこの話、断るのは愚か。そう言ってくれると思ってたよ。昔
俺も貴族連中から面会依頼がひっきりなしでさ派閥争いを始めそうなバカどもに頭を悩まされてんだよ。Yeah, you'll figure it out. 一大統になったんだって俺は断ったんだけどさ、こいつが言い出したら聞かなくて。<笑>俺は今でもカリオン様の中央選手団の一員であるつもりなんですよね。So we got the third Bisketeer is now the night captain of Fall Menace. バカはお前だ。なんだどこのバカ嫁 And they're still getting along quite well. Who's this? Oh, an attendant? <laughs> Was it really a joke, though? Oh, okay, that's who that was. <laughs> taking quite the liking to Rimuru already. Oh! Nice. <laughs> he just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> She's gonna go down the history books at this rate. <laughs> he doesn't even understand what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Yom's literally going to. Oh, God, not this guy. Don't worry, that, that jerk already knows all about it. He believes all of it because he's like practically been orchestrating it. Yeah. God, I hate that they're getting along so well. <laughs> I guess he's looking forward to it. Rimuru, you're being too trusting, but I don't really blame you. You don't know. You have no idea what I know. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, then you'll love the dungeon we're creating. Oh, that's right. うーん、それは難しいですね。例えば、ソーマの場合は、自由組合が管理を受け持ってるんだけど、場所が微妙で、西側諸国が属する地域のさらに西。Wow. The Baron Lands? 
遺跡にも所有者がいないというのが現状なのですそうかじゃあやっぱりあそこの扱いは慎重に考えないとまずそうだなえ何か気がかりでも実はさクレイマンの本拠地に遺跡があったんだよ何ですって本当ですかクレイマンはその遺跡からの発掘品を利用していたんじゃないか、so it's like、the same circumstance. でもさ遺跡探索を生きがいにしてる人にこういうことを言うのは失礼かもしれないけど宝物を目当てに遺跡を踏み荒らすのは俺の趣味じゃないんだよそこに住んでいた人たちがどういう暮らしぶりだったのかどのような文化があったのかその都市が滅んだ理由は何だったのか So he doesn't want to get rich by it, he wants to like learn from it. He wants the riches of knowledge, not of wealth. <laughs> alright, alright, calm down. ですが理解はできます。私としても何でもかんでも好き放題に遺跡を荒らされるのは好みませんもの。クレイマンの領土に関してはその扱いを俺に一任されているんだけど、とても興味があります。なんとかその遺跡にお邪魔させてください。ああ
なのでお前たちと会えるのは夜だけになりそうだへえ静かにこれを使ってゲームをしようと思うんだがこれはね明日からのお祭りで出される露天のフリーパスチックのゲーム。これを持っているだけでどの店でも自由に飲み食いできるしどのイベント会場にも自由に出入りできるただし金額の上限は銀貨100枚分だこれを使い切ってしまったらゲームオーバーその時点で部屋に戻り罰としての宿題が待っているどうだやるかやるわ珍しいものがたくさんありそうだし楽しみだねケンちゃんああ楽しみだぜ Don't waste all the money immediately Okay, so yeah, they're gonna be fine then. They'll probably find a way though to screw it up. Nope. Back to serious stuff. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
さ我が国の武道大会に勇者が参加してくれて箔がついたと前向きに考えるそれはそれそんな成り行きで勇者の飛び入り参加が決まったのだった Oh, that'll be interesting. We'll see how he does. But I guess we're gonna have to wait. But considering the festival they said starting tomorrow, I'm pretty sure we're finally gonna get into it next episode. I'm looking forward to it. Especially that tournament. I'm assuming the tournament is going to be the main highlight. There'll be some other stuff happening, though. I'm sure it's mostly gonna just be fun and games, though, for the most part. Like with the whole um, stall that. Um, Ah, crap. I'm, I'm blanking on Veldora. Thank you. I couldn't think of his name for a second. But the stall Veldora is going to do, I'm sure, is going to have some fun with it. On top of a bunch of other things, like the whole um, Labyrinth dungeon that's going to be created. Oh, that, that opens after the tournament, I believe. Oh, well, whatever. And Milim is going to be back, and she's always going to cause chaos wherever she goes, so that'll be fun. And who knows, maybe some other demon lords will show up as well, just for the heck of it. But, yep, I think the setup, setup for the, um, for the rest of the festival is finally done and dusted, it seems. So, I'm looking forward to the start. The true coronation of Rimuru, Festival Eve. All right. So that was that time I got reincarnated as a slime, season three, episode 18. And it seems like we're just about done with all of our setup for the festival. And we're finally time to get into the thick of things. The first half of that episode was basically like wrapping up the final meetings of the people we haven't talked to yet. Uh, such as the King of Bloomin, who I don't know if we actually met before. Like, we're always like kind of talking through the um the adventurers guild guy over there so i don't think we ever actually did get like a true face-to-face -face meeting with the actual king until then and we talked about like plans for distribution and whatnot and it was pretty smooth then it was the king of dorgon or yeah yeah king of dorgon and <laughs> we had to finally tell him that we were trying to sign a 100 year peace treaty with his kingdom and ours and the um the western holy church without even like I'm talking to him about it, which he like, you know, he had his like reservations about, but eventually when he heard all the details, finally he realized, yeah, it's a pretty good deal for them. So they're going to go along with it, it seems. And then lastly was finally talking to Yom again. And now he's officially the king of Falmouth, which has be been renamed Fal Menace or Fal Menace, either way. And also the reparations that they owe to um Tempest have been like canceled by Rimuru because he got his wish getting the, um, getting Yom as the king, and Edgar is his assistant, which was the old king's son, I guess, and he realizes just what's happening to Yom with how he's basically becoming, like, the most powerful or most, like, well-known and, like, respectable king out there, and Yom doesn't even realize just what kind of crap he's been getting into, I don't think. He just... Yom, I think, has pretty much given up with how, like, insane Rimuru is, and he's just like, I'm just gonna roll with the punches no matter what happens at this point, which is probably a smart idea, all things considered. <laughs> And yeah, then we finally got to um, meet up with the kids again over at the school. And of course, Yuki, who... Oh, we know there's something bad going on there, and Rimuru is playing nice with them and doing nice things, which he always does. But unfortunately, this time, it might not be working out as well as he would hope for, but we'll see what happens. Yuki is still playing nice for now. They wanted to stay low, so they're probably not going to pull anything, but who really knows with them? They... they got their tendencies to be kind of jerks, so we'll see if they ever, like, actually, you know go for it during the festival and then yeah we finally got the um the last part was having the face-to-face -face meeting with the light speed hero and he continues to be a pushover but he even understands his powers now we're just gonna let everything and yeah, it'll all work out basically he just has to roll with the punches and all of his um his party basically talks over him and gets him into a lot of trouble but then it all works out so i guess that's why he's like become such a pushover but hopefully he'll be able to stand up for himself eventually and he'll be joining the tournament for a chance to fight Rimuru, like, if he wins it. So we'll see how he actually performs in the tournament. I don't know how many of, like, um, Tempest people are going to be in the tournament as well, but 
the guy seems like he's pretty strong, and obviously everything tends to work out for him, so we'll see how we can actually fare against the, um, the Kingdom of Tempest. But yeah, that'll be the next episode. It looks like we'll finally be getting to the festival, and I am very much looking forward to it. So that's all I got for you for this episode, guys. So thank you everyone for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed and want to see more. This has been That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime Season 3, Episode 18, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.